So how do you actually 10x your life? How do you actually create a situation where you have an abundance if you already don't have a lot of time? So a lot of people come at this from different angles. A lot of people come to this problem from a different place. One person uh, might be in a really shitty place, might not have any good thing going for them, and they just don't have time because they have to pay the bills, they have to get working. And another person, like me, might be in a much better position, but working so much that it's like, whoa, where do I actually put in another thing to, on top of all that, to create even more abundance. So there's basically two ways you can leverage your time. You can do more, you can get more done. One way is to just spend more time and condense it. So condensing time is way number one. What that means is you actually take the amount of time that it takes you to do something and you condense it. Let's say that you're a salesperson and it takes you X amount of time to do this many sales calls. If you learn how to shorten, shorten your cycle, you can actually make more calls in less time. So if you could do 100 calls in a day and somebody else could do 100 calls in half a day, they have twice as much time as you do, assuming that they can create the same type of effectiveness or roughly the same. And maybe even more, by the way, because shorter cycles sometimes are even better. So one way you can have more time is to shorten your cycles, is to do things faster, to get things done more efficiently. Another way you can leverage time is using other people. So you can actually leverage other people's time as an asset to, do, to get things done. Imagine that the most successful person in the world has the exact 24 hours that you do to, have, to get their stuff done every day. So let's say that you have a business already and you're working super hard and you're working 14 hours a day and you also have to spend time with your wife and take care of your health and you do all these things and you have to sleep also. But let's say that you wanna open another business and you wanna do it in a way that doesn't take away from what you're currently doing, that allows you to actually spend the same amount of time but get, get twice as much result. How do you do that? Again, you condense time, you do that by being more efficient in what you do, by creating more time for yourself, and you also do that mainly by leveraging because there's only so much you can condense. Again, let's say that you're a salesperson, you wanna multiply your income times 10. Can you make 10 times more phone calls? Maybe, maybe not. But can you get make two times as many phone calls and also get five times as effective, for sure. So remember, at some point, you cannot leverage time anymore by being faster, by being more efficient. There's a limit to how much you can push that. The next level is to push things using leverage. And my recommendation is to, first of all, maximize your time, maximize your energy. Get to a point where you have so many things to get done that you don't have enough time during the day, not because you're lazy, but even though you're taking massive action, you don't have time. And when you get there, now you created a good problem. And now you can find good solutions. Because most people, what they do is they don't do anything, they waste their time, and they also think, how can I be more efficient? It doesn't work like that. What creates solutions is demand. It's the market. What creates solutions is pressure. So the, more, the harder you can go at your work, the more massive action you can take, the more you can maximize your time, the more you'll reach a situation where you'll have to leverage out of it. And I'm actually a perfect example for that because I wake up every morning at around 4.30 a.m. I do a quick workout, I kind of get my stuff handled, I write down my goals, and then I get to the office by six, sometimes even sooner. Once I'm at the office, I usually get work done till about seven or eight, and then I drive by, drive home to my, fa to my wife, spend time with her, go to sleep at around 10, and then repeat that cycle. So there's no more time to add. Every single moment of my life is dedicated to either improving my relationship with my wife, to improving my health, or to improving the business. And usually about 90% of it is on the business, 5% is on the wife, and 8% is on the wife, and 2% is on fitness. As you can see, um, I'm no longer as, as, as jacked as I maybe used to be, but I am keeping a certain level of fitness and because it's just not a priority right now. But again, I'm not letting it deteriorate because I want everything in life. So, for example, with me, uh, my solution to get out of it is to basically leverage people. I actually reached a situation where I had so much stuff to get done that I had to hire an assistant. And I did that and my wife was bad scared. She was like, holy crap, we're gonna pay this much every month to get an assistant. And I told her, honey, come down. It's gonna be an investment, it's gonna pay off. And the first month that I hired him, I actually made about twice as much as he cost me in income. So 
Start leveraging people, start condensing time, and you'll start reaching higher and higher goals. Again, imagine that the CEO of the biggest company in the world it has the same 24 hours that a homeless person does or that you do or that somebody more successful does. On all levels of success, everyone has 24 hours to get what they want done. So I hope this, tips help, this tip helps you condense time and leverage people. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.